So in today's video, we're going to be talking about set notation. Um, sets play into probability. Um, we may not use these symbols directly, but knowing what's in one group, what's in another, and being able to find what they have in common, or be able to join these sets together is going to be really important for certain prob topics in probability. So you can see right here that we have a few sets. We've got a set A right here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, just those numbers. And then we see we have a set B here that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Those are even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So what we want to find is, you see the first one says find A, U, B, and then we see this one says find A with a little upside down U and B. Um, we need to talk about what these symbols mean. So this one right here, we call this the union symbol. And what we want to do is we're going to say, well, what what happens if we join these together? So we're going to put these sets together. When we do that, um, we don't want to have repeats. So we're going to try to list these in order, and we don't want to include repeats. So I'm going to go through, and we're going to fill in for A, U, B, and, um, and I'm going to cross them off as we go. So the first thing we would include is 1. I'm going to check that off. Then 2. Now I'm not going to write 2 twice because we already got it. The next one that I need to include is 3. Then I need to also include 4. We're going to cross that off. After 4, we're going to include 5. Cross it off. Then 6, right? Okay, and then I need to include these other two that are in the bottom, which is 8 and 10. And then I'm going to close up this. So I have my opening one. We want to close it. So... This is the set of A union B. We just included whatever they one didn't have, we added it to it, okay? So now this next symbol, when the U is upside down, this is called the intersection. And what we do when we take the intersection is we take what they have in common. So take a look up here with set A and set B, and let's circle what they have in common. We know they both have the number 2, right? They also both have the number 4, and they have the number 6. So when we do the intersection of A and B, it's going to be 2, 4, and 6, and then we include that, okay? Now let's see if we can represent this graphically. Uh, take a look down here at this. You can see that we have a circle for A, a circle for B, and then we have a space where they overlap. This space in the middle, this is going to be that intersection right here. This is going to be what they both have in common. So I'm going to put 2, 4, and 6 right here. Uh, separate those with some commas. Now, over here, A. this is going to be everything that's in A that's not in B. We'll get into the terminology and symbols related to this, but I just want to look at my set A and say, well, what, is, what else is in there besides 2, 4, and 6? Well, I also have 1, 3, and 5. And then similarly over here with set B, what's in set B that isn't in this little circle right here? That would be 8 and 10. So those would be in this set over here. So kind of take a look and you can see over here when I look at this circle right here I have 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10 that's exactly what's in set B and when I look at set A which is this circle right here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Again it's kind of seems silly to do this with numbers but we're going to do it with some real life examples when we get to class.